must go on Cause a lot of time is gone We must be ready Episode number nine, The Remarkable Rescue of Romy. As Willie Fogg continues in his attempt to travel around the world in 80 days, the people of London anxiously await the latest reports of his whereabouts. There are only 59 days left before time runs out. Oh dear. I don't want it. I'll Take it. In. Place your bet. There's Ralph. If anyone will know where Willie Fogg is, Ralph will. Oh, let's go. <laughs> now, quiet, everyone. Quiet for the latest official bulletin. Several days ago, Mr. Willie Fogg and his friends went into the jungle, and we've had no word from them since then. Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> I'll be ruined. I've waited half my fortune on it. We'll all be ruined. Never fear, gentlemen. Remember, Willie Fogg promised to be back in 80 days, and to him, his word is as sacred as his life. He will succeed, I promise you, to Willie Fogg! Indeed, Willie Fogg and his companions are in the dankest, dreariest depths of the darkest jungle. At present, listening to the fearful and eerie sounds of a mysterious procession, mm -hmm. which is coming closer to their hiding place with every passing moment. If they're who I think they are, we're in great danger. We must be absolutely silent. Agreed? Yeah. Oh, no! Tico, get out of the road! Huh? Get back here! <laughs> get down, you two! Run quickly! <laughs> oh, quiet, Tico! <laughs> quiet now! I'm scared, Rick <sighs> Mr. Fogg, it's the funeral procession of a local Raja. I see. It must have been quite important. Yes, it's more extravagant than usual. That woman is the high priestess of Kali, goddess of oh. death. Oh, and I presume that unfortunate young lady must be his widow. Appears to be in a great deal of distress. Uh -huh. I beg you, mm. don't do this. Don't. We mustn't give the oh. priest this waiting. Get up. Oh, please. I don't want to die. Oh. Get up. Don't oh. think of it as dying. Think let of it go. as going to keep your please, husband happy in go. the afterward. <laughs> what on earth was all that about, Brigadier? That young widow is a sati. She must accompany her husband's body on the funeral pyre. And do you allow this? Well, naturally, the colonial government has done everything in its power to eliminate these ceremonies. But in remote areas such as this, they're almost impossible to prevent. When will they begin the ritual? At daybreak, they'll light the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do, Mr. Fogg. The poor girl only has a few hours to live. Ah, hey, we can't let him cook a beautiful woman like that. Mr. Fogg, we gotta help her. Mm, I want to rescue her too, Tico, but you're hurting me. What hmm. do you suggest, Brigadier Corn? Hmm. No, a rescue would be impossible, Rigodon. The odds against us are just too great, I'm afraid. But nevertheless, we've got to make the attempt. We can't abandon her to such a grisly fate. Believe me, my friend, 
There's no way you can help this unfortunate girl. And besides, what about your journey? You've given your word as an Englishman to be back in London in 59 days. There's no time for such an operation. At present, I'm 12 hours ahead of schedule. Oh, and then we are going to try it. Yes. We're going to save her? Mm hmm. Mr. Fogg, risking your personal fortune to save the helpless is the choice of a true Englishman. Why, thank you, Brigadier. You are too kind. I'm <laughs> ready to go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, tell me, sir, you as a military expert, how shall we rescue the young woman? Hmm. That's a very good question, Rigodon. Planning an operation against such great odds will be quite a challenge. Never fear. Necessity is the mother of invention. Let's be off, shall we? Huh? Yes, I agree. Rigodon, Tico? Yes, sir. Let's go, car! Hey, you're as strong as elephant! Willie Fogg and his friends are unaware that their present form of transport is stolen property, and that the elephant's irate owner is tracking them through the jungle. He is accompanied by two gentlemen from Scotland Yard, who have reason to believe that Willie Fogg has robbed the Bank of England. The dedicated and resolute Inspector Dix and Constable Bully. Oh, got to rest, sir. Think I'm coming down with a mysterious jungle fever. Can't stop now, Bully. Steady on. We must catch up with Willie Fogg, no matter how sick you are. Oh, sorry, sir. Looks like it's contagious, whatever it is. Careful. Sorry, Brigadier. Shh. Quiet, Koa. You'll be quiet as a mouse, eh? That's where the funeral pyre will be set ablaze in front of the Temple of Kali. Let's move in as closely as we can and scout the perimeter. Quietly now. <sighs> Silencio, Gavish. Look out! Oh, no! Shh, quiet. Tipito, tipito, Koa. Oh, we can't let them hear us. Pianissimo. <laughs> well, at least we know they're right behind us. Now, whatever you do, don't start running. One foot at a time. That's it, okay? Hey. Oh, that's right. Meanwhile, the priestess of Kali and her worshippers prepare to carry out their ancient and savage ritual. Oh, mighty Kali, goddess of evil, death and destruction, we praise your awesome power and oh. thank you to take unto yourself the spirits of this great Raja and his wife, the Princess Robi, who will lie by his side in the flames of purification. That's the funeral pyre directly in front of the priestess. When they light it, the flames will be seen for miles. <laughs> the princess, I wonder where they're holding the lady. Aziz, we better go check on her. She has to die. Aha, there's the answer. Look where those guards are going. She must be in there. It's traditional for those who are to be sent to the realm of the gods to be held in the temple overnight to purify their souls for their journey to the other world. We'll have to look for a back entrance. Rigodon, hide the elephant. All right, let's go. But, sir, how do you hide an elephant? Well, I will try. Quickly, Kua, <laughs> behind those trees. Hey, hey Rigodon, where you at? Hey! Who dares to disturb our ceremony? I say, there's a bit of luck. Look, there don't appear to be any guards at the rear wall. We can slip inside. Unfortunately, the blighters haven't been kind enough to provide a door. Well, then, we'll just have to make one of our own. Hmm. Rigodon, hand me the trowel. Um, oui, monsieur. Do you usually carry a trowel? Say yes. Never without one. Hmm. Tico, you stand guard. Me? Stand on guard? That's right. You warn us if you see anyone. Go on, Tico. 
All right, if I see anyone coming, you hear me whistle. All right, Mr. Fogg? Hmm? Mm -hmm. And uh, if we gotta run away real quick, uh, bark like a dog, okay? Fine, Tico. Mm -hmm. Here I go. Hmm? Hmm. There's no one here. Not so loud, Tico. <sighs> All right, go on. Just a bit more, I should think. It seems to be working, monsieur. Yes, try it now, Rigodon. Uh oh, I hear something. Carry on, Rigodon. Did you hear something? Better look around. I kind of want them. I could swear I heard someone. <laughs> the wind is coming from the north tonight. <laughs> Must be the spirit of the Raja's poodle. We've nearly yeah. got it. Just a minute. Hey? are restless tonight. Uh, sorry, Mr. Hmm. You did your best, Tico. Don't blame yourself. They'll guard the temple more closely now, I'm afraid. You're right. Now that they've been alerted, we'll have to find another way in. What do you have in mind? We'll assess the situation after nightfall, Brigadier. Rigadon, you and Tico make sure the elephant's all right. Oui, si, Signore. As night falls, Inspector Dix and Constable Bully are attempting to make themselves comfortable. No harder, Bully. Right, sir. Eh, it's coming along. Closer. Oh, yes, right, sir. Uh, there. It's awfully dark in the jungle. Huh? Hmm? Uh, what's that? Don't worry, Bully. It's only an owl. Don't be afraid of. An owl won't hurt you. Plenty of animals here in the jungle. Nothing to worry about, I assure you. Mm. Mm. We've had it, haven't we, sir? We're lost in the middle of the jungle. We're never going to get out. We're just pretending that everything's all right. Stop snivelling. Must I remind you that we are representatives of Scotland Yard and that we have been assigned to follow that scoundrel, Willie Fogg? I'm very sorry, Inspector, but I feel so helpless out here in the jungle. I want to go home. I quite understand, Bully. Steady on. There's a good fellow. He'll soon find a way out of here. If we do perish in this uncivilized mm -hmm. country, you've got to promise me one thing. Mm -hmm. I want to be buried in Westminster Abbey with all the kings and queens. Such nonsense. Bully, not only will you get out of this alive, but you'll be one of Scotland Yard's greatest heroes. Hey, I'll be a hero? Of course you will. Thank you, Inspector. Mm. And we shan't be heroes if we lose track of Mr. Willie Fogg. Now, he's on his way to Calcutta, and that's where we'll catch him. Good. Then we can go home. Right, sir? Mm-hmm. Little do the two detectives realize that in the wilds of India, the greatest danger comes not from wild animals, but from the jungle's human inhabitants. He's starting the ceremony shortly. There are so many of them. How will we ever get close enough? Oh, great Kali, comes out of Shiva, master of destruction. Great Kali decrees which leaves shall fall from the tree of life. The tree of life? <laughs> it would be unwise to charge them head on. I've scouted the area. What have you found? There are more guards now. Nothing else to report. Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. hmm. Rescuing her will be more difficult than I thought. The odds against it seem insurmountable. I hate to admit it, but we may have to leave the poor girl to her fate. No. We can't get close to the princess now, but when they bring her outside, we may have a chance. But how can we get close enough? We'll launch a surprise attack using the elephant. It might just scatter them long enough to give us the time we need. Yes, it might. And if you're willing to risk your neck, <gasps> so am I. 
A dangerous operation, I dare say. Tico! Eh? Come over here. I want to talk to you. Hurry! <laughs> Tico, promise me something. Sure. What is it, Rigaton? This. If anything happens to me, you've got to promise to take care of Monsieur Fogg and Brigadier Cohn. Promise me? Rigaton, you finally losing your mind. Are you gonna try to rescue that girl all by yourself? Shh. I will not, the shish. I cannot allow Monsieur Fogg to risk his life and fortune trying to save that girl. But if I go and rescue mm -hmm. her first, Monsieur Fogg won't have to risk anything at all. Rigaton! You can't rescue her by yourself, there are guards everywhere! Now, Tico, my friend, we must not allow anything to endanger Monsieur Fogg's journey around the world. I didn't think of that. <laughs> now, don't worry, I have a very good plan. But if we don't see each other again, thank you for being such a good friend. But, Rigadon, I, I don't want to lose you, my friend. <laughs> well, I am certainly glad to hear that. Well, wish me luck. Buona fortuna! Be careful! Fog, I believe they're going to light the funeral pyre now. Well then, I think the time has come. Well, I'm ready. Wait, Signore Fog, mm -hmm. Signore Brigadier, wait, wait. Eh? It's it's Rigadon. We gotta help him. We gotta help him. He's a threat to rescue the princess alone. Oh, what? Has he gone mad? The fellow doesn't stand a chance, I'm afraid. Princess seems doomed to be consumed by flames in the horrible Indian ritual of sati. Oh, it looks like we've waited too long. But where's Rigadon? Come on, we gotta hurry. Brigadier, it's now or never. I say, let it be now. Rigadons are gonna get roasted. The 
Infidel must be destroyed! <laughs> now we have another sacrifice for Kali. I'm sure she will be pleased. <laughs> Rigadon's incredible bravery, Princess Romy has been saved from a horrible fate. In fact, she is to become Willy Fogg's newest traveling companion on his journey around the world. In our next episode, Willy Fogg and his friends slowly but surely nurse the beautiful Princess Romy back to health and happiness. But Fogg's troubles are far from over. The persistent Inspector Dix and Constable Bully are trying to arrest him, and the wicked and conniving Transfer is determined to stop him from completing his journey. Be sure to join us for the next thrilling episode as we continue our travels around the world with Willie Fogg. Say, 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 say,